How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Yankees are off to a very hot start. I got a very special guest today. Billy Joel is with me to talk about what it's like to watch Clay Holmes pitch the ninth inning. Obviously, cardiac Clay here. He's our he's our closer to begin the year, but. Uh, with Canely coming back at some point, I know he just got pushed back a little bit. What do you think our bullpen will look like by the end of the year? Do you think Hamilton, who also looked great last night, do you think he's going to uh, push through to that save, uh, get more save opportunities to close a role? Do you think Canely will, or do you think it's going to be Clay at the end of the day? All right, Derek, have a good one. I think the Yankees don't want to get beat by a home run late in the game, and so they're using a ground ball pitcher as their closer. Now, the problem with Clay Holmes is that he gets so much movement on the sinker that it can be hard to precisely control, and also it can be hard to catch. So you're going to have pass balls, you're going to have you know, wild pitches, you're going to have walks. He induces soft contact, so most of the time, if he starts with a clean inning, he's going to have a few ground balls and you know get through the inning without any major incident. But the problem is, uh, and, and this is certainly evident early so far this season, he's not super consistent. And when you start extra innings with a guy on second base and you're a ground ball pitcher instead of a strikeout pitcher, it doesn't take a lot to get that guy in. I think Clay Holmes will remain the closer for the foreseeable future until he gives it back. I mean, he's still got a zero ERA, and he didn't let the ball get out of the infield yesterday. So it was really on the defense. But I'm not a big fan of having a contact pitcher as your closer. I want somebody who's going to get a lot of strikeouts. For me, Ian Hamilton is the guy. But again, he showed he can do multiple innings yesterday. You know, why not go the eighth and ninth with Hamilton once in a while? But I think the Yankees are going to stick with Clay Holmes for the foreseeable future. Tommy Canely, not sure we can necessarily count on him when he first comes back. Uh, we got to see what he looks like first. Appreciate the call. How's it going? This is Will from NYC. And I need to say, Clay Holmes is not a closer. Simple as that. He just doesn't have the constitution for it. And when you look at our rotate and our bullpen, it's clear to see it should be Ian Hamilton. That man has ice in his veins. Maybe that move should be made. I appreciate the call and the Batman voice. I want the Joker. I just kind of wanted to see how you feel. Um, we got the series win. We beat Houston. Now we beat uh, the Diamondbacks. Rough night last night for the boys, but it was good to see them bounce back today. Uh, this one was, it had a sweating. I was on the clock and I was sweating, man. Um, but good game overall by the boys. Way to clutch up there at the end. How am I feeling? Well, I feel pretty good. It's hard not to feel good about a 6-1 and one start. I think the bullpen, aside from you know the high wire acts from Clay Holmes, has been outstanding. Uh, I'm loving what I'm seeing from Birdie. I'm loving what I'm seeing from Hamilton. I think uh, Caleb uh, Ferguson had some nice pitches yesterday and seems to be rounding into form. I think the offense has been a little bit up and down, but now that we got Judge heating up, that should help out the rest of the lineup. That will help Soto. I'm a little bit concerned about John Carlos Stanton. Yes, he looks more flexible. Yes, he looks like he's running better, but he still can't hit a slider, still can't lay off a slider. So I'm a little bit worried about that. I'm highly, highly encouraged by what we've seen from Anthony Volpe. He's third in the major leagues in wins above replacement already. His defense yesterday, tough throw, but most of the time it's going to be fine. His offense has taken huge strides forward. Verdugo hit the big home run. Maybe that gets him going. Uh, we need some guys to get hot for this homestand so that we can, you know, keep rolling. You don't want to get off to a great start and then let it, you know, slide. You want to put the pressure on the rest of the division and, you know, start off 12 and 1 or 15 and 2, something like that, and really create some separation between yourself and the rest of the division that gives you some room for when you get you know, the slump later in the season, which we know is going to happen. So prepare ourselves. But this team looks really good right now, and I am encouraged. Derek, what's up, my man? Long-time listener. Hey, we need to get rid of Clay Holmes before he gets rid of me. I'm about ready to have a heart attack. I think we send Clay Holmes 
and Giancarlo Sand to the Brewers for Devin Williams to make room for the return of the Martian, get ourselves a nice young closer, and call it a day. So I appreciate your sentiment of trading for a established closer, but Devin Williams right now is hurt. And the other thing is that the Brewers would have no interest in making that trade. Nobody's going to want to trade for John Carlos Stanton, let alone a team that's trying to cut payroll. Remember, they just traded Corbin Burns, who's going to be a free agent. They're not trying to take on, you know, four years of a dead contract from John Carlos Stanton. And Clay Holmes is you know, for for better or worse, what the Yankees have at closer right now. Now, he may pitch himself out of that role, but right now he's got a zero ERA. And so it would be tough for Aaron Boone to justify removing him from that role in a contract season. I think Clay Holmes is pitching for a contract, so if you move him out of that role, he's going to become disgruntled. Look, the, the answer to the closer position may not be Clay Holmes, but right now the Yankees are going to stick with him until he makes it impossible to stick with them. But uh, a trade for Devin Williams, unlikely. He's got a fractured uh, bone in his back. And honestly, the Yankees are not going to be able to trade John Carlos Stanton because nobody's going to take him. So I appreciate the call, but unlikely scenario, in my opinion. Hey, Derek, it's Spike. Great game tonight. A lot of strategy involved, but we, we took the game. A W is a W. One thing I want to say is, this team does not have a proper closer. I love Clay Holmes, but the ground ball thing, sometimes it just doesn't cut it, especially in the extra innings when there's a guy on base. You can't rely on ground balls. I think we have the closer, though. I think we just have an untapped closer on the team. His name is Ian Hamilton. He attacks the zone. He has swing in this stuff. He can get strikeouts, and he just looks scary. He's got that mean dog face. You know in a horror movie when the main characters meet, like, a farmer or something, and, like, a a small town, like, are you lost? You know, where are you headed? He gives me those vibes. You know, I think he's he's closer material. He's scary. He's got what he he's got what it takes. Love that call. Yeah, I guess Ian Hamilton does have that, you know, bad guy from Deliverance kind of uh, attitude. I think, <laughs> but I, look, I, I I agree with you that he's got swing and miss stuff, and that he's got the right temperament. And I think he's next man up if Clay Holmes goes down at some point with an injury or if he. You know, loses the job, but uh, I think most Yankees fans are in agreement right now that Clay Holmes, despite having a zero ERA and despite working his way through this first week of the baseball season, has had some issues uh, closing out games uh, peacefully <laughs> and without sending the Yankees fan base into a collective cardiac arrest. So it is what it is. Hang in there. Call in after a big Yankees win or big Yankees loss, and we're going to try and do a lot more voicemail episodes like this one throughout the season, and uh, hopefully we'll get that subscriber number up to 40,000, so go ahead and hit that like and subscribe, and I'll see you after the game. Oh, by the way, also subscribe to NYY Recaps on all your favorite podcast platforms. Just in case you're on the road and you can't catch YouTube, you can still listen to the podcast. Ball game over. 